of the airwaves, Lucky of the orange coat. Behind my flowers, till it is the 28th of September, 2022. It is a Wednesday and today, and today I'm gonna show you a couple of balloon, uh, water balloon paintings, not getting what I want. So I will read to you from my book, Sober Chaos, and here it is. Okay. My dearest reader, of course, all I want is to become unforgettable. And I admit it to be true. All I do these days is calmly plotting my resurrection. But how, how to do it? After carefully examining all my gifts and talents and authentic contributions, I decided that the one thing I want to be remembered forever by is that I'm an alcoholic who got sober and stayed sober. Just another drunk who didn't drink and didn't die. Did you know that 90% of the alcoholics on this planet will die without having read the 12 steps? So I'll skip here a little bit. Why now? Why would you read my masterpiece in this age of infobesity? Remember, somebody came up with infobesity? <sighs> so much information. The truth is that these days, everybody has a voice. Everybody who has a computer or a smartphone or an iPad can say whatever they want. In his book, The Boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse, published in 2019, Charlie McKenzie writes, when I was making the book and I often wondered who on earth am I to be doing this? But as the horse says, the truth is everyone is winging it. Yeah, everyone is truly winging it these days. So I thought to myself, now or never. I didn't want to dump more infobesity. I wanted to make you jump from joy that you got across my modest but brilliant, but brilliant booklet. The only reason I kept postponing publishing my booklet is that I insisted on it ending up on the 100 classic books list of the 21st century. It just had to become a classic. But then I read Anne Lamott. Perfectionism is the voice of the oppressor, the enemy of the people. It will keep you cramped and insane your whole life. Yeah, feeling uncomfortably confined and hemmed in by lack of space is one feeling I don't want to feel. So when I had enough of it, I submitted my manuscript and one more time, why? Because here is what St. Teresa of Avila had to say about that. Christ has no body now on earth, but yours. Your, yours are the only hands with which he can do his work. Yours are the only feet with which he can go about the world. Yours are the only eyes through his through which his compassion can shine uh, forth upon a troubled world. Christ has nobody on earth now, but yours. And if these were not enough reasons to get cracking, two days ago, I read the quote from Paolo Coelho. One day you will wake up and there won't be any more time to do the things you've always wanted to do. Do it now. This really scared me shitless. Then I thought, it's actually not so morbid to think about our mortality. It is actually quite motivating. It is a deadline for sure. And the deadline might be a negative inspiration, but it's still better than no inspiration at all. So I want to intrigue you, my dearest reader. That's all. And then the last quote is from Marie von Ebner Eschenbach. Nothing is so often irretrievably missed as a daily opportunity. So I seriously got enough of divine whisper and divine detonation. 
that's a little bit of my writing. So you'll see what we cooked. This is in the video. It's very early today for a change. We're filming quite early in the morning and we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday and it's going to be the 29th of September. On my menu, it's my eggplant is done and my peppers. And again, it's 5, 10 a.m. And here are my ready dips. This is eggplant with garlic, olive oil, salt, and parsley. And these are the orange peppers grilled. Peeled with olive oil, salt, and vinegar. Lots of vinegar and garlic, of course, and parsley. Bon appétit! On our menu, pizza, um, half courtesy of Loblaws, half hours.